Ladies and gentlemen, what the frick is up? Excuse my language. My name is Jack. You can call me I should know. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are continuing Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Today we have a I what what episode is it? 18? 17. 17. It is called Cold Flame. Last episode we had the tragic realization of the Elric brothers that Hughes was dead. Of course, Winry found out too. We had that really kind of sad interaction with his wife and how she basically told Ed that he had to keep on going. And it was a conversation he needed to have. If he had found out in any other circumstance, it probably would have destroyed him he wouldn't have been able to continue because he would have blamed himself like he said like that's why mustang didn't want him to find out that's why armstrong didn't want him to find out and of course they're pinning the entire thing on maria now the entire death of hughes I'm, it's maria right i'm guessing we're gonna start to see the development of that case this episode because that is a pretty hefty accusation i'm guessing they're gonna have a lot of evidence that they kind of planted all around up until that point that we're gonna see come out but uh yeah i'm excited to get into it oh they're interrogating her Oh no, dude. Oh, the bullet. This is the bullet that killed Brigadier General Hughes. All right. It's a 45 caliber. The killer dude, used only this Maria. one bullet. I'd say it was a good shot, but it was at point blank range. Right next to him. Close enough that even a poor shot could have done it. The subtitle said even a woman could have done it. Now God me, dang, the dude. Caliber of the gun that you carry? A 45, sir. Wouldn't they all have Here the same have caliber weapon? position form for additional ammunition. Does this look correct? Baloney. That's it nothing. Says here you fired exactly one shot. What was that? Oh, never mind. For? It lists the reason right there on the form. I fired my weapon oh. in defense of Edward Elric while in the fifth laboratory. Oh yeah. But the fifth laboratory is no longer operational. It remains unmanned. It was definitely not unmanned. But they had that entire. Sure. According to your account, an explosion and everything there. Shall There's I proof of that, right? Search for this bullet you say you fired. Unexplained explosion at the site. The fifth laboratory is now a pile of rubble. Why don't they get more witnesses? So the place where you claim to have used your gun was unmanned. If we looked for the bullet, all that we would be able to find is a pile of rubble. Is that what you're saying? The evidence isn't to, that ridiculously yeah, stacked, testimony. though. You were spotted leaving the scene on the day of the murder at the same time as the shooting. That's impossible! Calm down, Lieutenant. I was at my parents' house visiting. Please check with them. They'll tell you. But also, this could be All envy. All you can offer us is your family's testimony. That is not admissible as an alibi. But also, you don't have hard evidence. Second Lieutenant Ross is being questioned. Because no a one is permitted witness? inside to see her. I see. Yeah, I feel like that's envy with other- Major Armstrong! Hmm. I can corroborate her story. Lieutenant Ross and I both fired around from our weapons at the fifth laboratory to defend the Elric brothers. But everyone's ignoring it, sir. Mm. He's realizing they're trying to, to pen it. Second lieutenant for this? Yeah. But why? Armstrong should ask. Whoa. Wait, why did- Huh. Maybe it's a represent- look close. I don't know. You're all scratched up, aren't you? You're having a rough time of this, huh? Head. <laughs> What have you got planned now? Mm. Well, Ed? What is the next step? He's got to hear about the Maria case, right? Please don't cry. Why would you make me hear that again? That's just cruel. What do you think? What's with the face? I'm just surprised. You've never asked for my advice before. I'm scared, you know? I've been off somewhere fighting and digging up information. Information that could get you killed like Mr. Hughes. I've never heard Winry this unsure of herself. That. It terrifies me. This is a very drastic contact contrast to who her character is. I mean, you or could usually die. is. I'd still be here and you'd just suddenly not be there anymore. Like my mom and dad. Oof. It's almost more than I can handle. I do want you to get your bodies back. But I also want you to stay alive and safe. I'm not sure what I think you should do. I really don't know. It's just something's gonna happen in Central, especially with nice the case. <laughs> Why do you sound so surprised? I'm always yeah. nice. Stop it. Take that back. You out to out out to out take it back. I'm I'm out 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 <laughs> that smile. And I haven't seen Ed smile in a little bit. I just realized. I guess since they found out the Yo. news. First time he smiled since he found out. Oh, it's Dude, here. The freaking Excellent. butcher. I can't what? with him. The newspaper? Again? Duck, you're babysitting you all day. This is the only entertainment I get. Is Lieutenant the case on news? Calling on an outside line. Please connect me to Colonel Mustang. My code is. What's got you so excited? Iram, George, Oliver, four. Also, why isn't the butcher just kill him? From the laboratory. <laughs> from the laboratory. Oh! I still don't understand, like, why. I, I don't know. Tattoos. Why he's kept there? I don't know. Monkey How are they? <laughs> Scare I'm surprised like it's in the paper already. The newspaper, Ed. What is it now? Uh, here we go. Now they're gonna find out. 
What? And Ed knows very Second well. Maria Ross convicted it wasn't of Maria. General Hughes's murder. He knows without a doubt it's not Maria. Maybe the colonel or the major will know something about feel, Things feel like very I'm tense. Really like things are just gonna snap. Quit your complaining. Oh! Every stray mutt needs a call. Are you honestly 15 years old? <laughs> I sure am. I don't mind. Freaking Ling, dude. It's the truth, I swear. I forgot about him. What's that? We've got an intruder. Come on, give us a hand. What? Oh. Uh, Behave yourself. Got it? Ling's face, <laughs> bro. <laughs> lame, lame, lame. Are you guys Wait, what? Try? You can do better than that. He's still coming at Why is he coming? there? <laughs> And how- wait, why did they let him get out? G -g 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 ghosts! This would be a lot more fun if I was allowed to cut him Oh, off. he's restricted, Hello? so he didn't, like, I'm sneak out or anything. Man. He got permission. You could let me out of here? <laughs> Who are you? Just an illegal immigrant from Shane. A foreigner? Well, have a nice trip home. If you let me out of here, I can help you. I don't have time to deal with you. Where did you say you were from? Shane, east of the desert. <laughs> Ooh. I wonder what use he thinks he can get out of Ling. Dude, poor Maria. This is so sad. Oh, he's going for her. After the newspaper. Well, hello there, sweetheart. I've been looking for you. Yikes. You're from the Fit Laboratory. I think of you every time I look at the hole you put in my right hand. Just like the hole you put in that guy, Hugh. No, it wasn't me. Oh, yeah? According to the newspapers, you're one guilty soldier girl. Right now, it's looking like you'll be facing the firing squad for sure. Why did he it's go to true. see her, though? They're wrong. Here are your choices. Stay here and be killed for murder, or bust out of this joint with me. Which will it be? Dude, that's so rough, though, because if she runs away, then she's immediately no, guilty. Like, like no matter what. It sure doesn't look like it. Dude, like, the inner, like the fact that, like, Ling is interacting with the butcher, who's interacting with Maria. Like all the paths are interconnecting. Fine, let's go. Oh this is no! How it has to be. I'll with you, but you better know a way out of here, metal boy. Ooh, you've got spunk. Mm, the little heart. What do I have to do? <laughs> oh yes. no. Yes. Well, now they. Right away. But now they don't have to pin it on anyone else. They can 100% pin it on, pin it on her. Maria Ross is. They can just be like, oh well, she ran away she's because she's guilty. Accomplice. She resists. But the order is shoot to kill. But I also Mustang wouldn't shoot to kill her because he knows it's not her. How much further? Oh, dude. Just keep moving. Lieutenant <gasps> Ross. Ah! What are you two doing here? Ah! You're that guy. And Ling, dude. <laughs> hey, guys, Everybody's you there. Up, I could ask the same of you. Oh Wait, my sorry. gosh, what's happening? Right, sweetheart, take that back alley and run straight to the warehouse district. Tell us about Hughes. Get going. If the MP show up, they'll shoot you. Lieutenant Ross! Stay back! No, wait! She better not die. That'd be really sad. Wait. It's Mustang. No! You're Maria Ross, right? Wait, what? Wait, what? What was that? Looks like they got her. Get back here. Wait, why did he say it like that? He no. knows who she is. Let's go, foreigner. Ling, what are you doing with a guy? What like is that? happening? I'll have to fill you in later. Is Maria dead? Oh my God. Full metal. What happened here? What happened here, Colonel? Tell me! Full Metal Alchemist. Why, Colonel? Why was Hughes murdered? Why would Second Lieutenant that... Ross... Why didn't you say That anything? is Mustang, though, because the fire. I think he's just realizing the politics and everything. Threaten a superior officer. You forget yourself, Elric. What's happening? I don't know what hand Mustang's playing. Ah! Yeah, don't! Tear you no, apart! No, I won't let you! This bastard just killed Ross! What? How could you do that, Colonel? Dude, also Al's so young, like seeing Maria all this Ross death. Was a fugitive. Our orders were shoot to kill. That's all you have to say. About Hughes's death, I apologize for hiding it, but you do not argue against orders or ask for explanations. Just follow them. That's what it means to be a soldier. I can't tell if he's serious, like, or if he's he just recognizes this recognized that Maria Ross had to die. Colonel Mustang, 
Because if she didn't explain to me what happened here at once, it would have gotten like a much the worse. The message went out that if she resisted, we were permitted to shoot to kill. I understand the Brigadier General was a friend. Perhaps then it was one of your men who aided Lieutenant Ross's escape. But why? Why, Colonel? I'll tell you why. So you could burn her to death with oh. your own hand. Like make it clear for himself. Like not an alibi per se, but is best avoided. It's like he realized he needed to play into it. Ah, oh, dude. I'm the whole politics thing I'm is so rough, though. Brigadier General Hughes's death sooner. It's my fault. Don't be so hard on yourself. His murder wasn't your doing, Edward. Dude, if Armstrong ever dies, I will is die inside. Is everyone here then? Doctor Knox. Doctor Knox. Her body was almost completely destroyed, but judging from what little dental work remained, I was able to conclude that this is indeed Maria. Oh, I Ross. thought she was alive, not the, like an autopsy. Oh my gosh! Turning a beauty like her into a pile of charcoal must have held quite a grudge against her, didn't you, Colonel? Nope. He just understands there's bigger power is the at work here. as sweet as you imagined it? He's not happy about it at all. <laughs> The famous hero of the Ishvalan War going this far against a little girl. It makes me sick. Please allow me to apologize for one of my own officer's actions. I could never have imagined that Second Lieutenant Ross would commit such a heinous murder. Armstrong knows it wasn't her. She was so straightforward and earnest. I don't think. Passionate. Yeah. A truly fine officer. This is literally all for show, I think. Dude, how do they capture the, the emotion? seems to be getting the best of you, Major. So well. Perhaps you should take some leave. Back east, where I was. It's a nice place. None of the big city noise. And lots of beautiful women. Oh my gosh. After a daring escape, the fugitive is killed by Colonel Mustang, eager to avenge his best friend. And all's well that ends well. Are you so There's sure about that? Oh, all part the of the plan? plan? Was supposed to be designed to get Mustang to behave himself. He took the bait. Now he doesn't have a reason to snoop around anymore. Hmm. We did manage to sow some animosity. His subordinates won't trust him much after this. What's this? It's a request for leave. Time like this? Is that a no? No, it's fine. Request approved. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there is animosity. I don't think to the point of no return, What were you thinking though. going out on your own like that? Do you know what the colonel would do to me if he found out? Yeah, oh, I'm so surprised he didn't get found out. Nobody saw me. He's a giant dude. Don't you get it? That isn't the point. You're just a helpless soldier held captive by a big bad criminal. What were you supposed to do? Like, are there people that just walk hey, the town at night? What are you up to out dude, there? Dude, just Ling just hanging fire? out. Signal fire. <laughs> Bringing someone back here you know nothing about. I How love Ling, so dude. He's always just smiling. Oh, Lord, we've been looking for you. Wow, impressive response time. Looks like a party. <laughs> Looks like a party. <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Are you sure your assistant won't give you grief for blowing off work to talk on the phone? Nope, the coast is clear. She's out of the office at the moment. Good thing too, or else I wouldn't be able to talk to you. So how do you like that? He's whipped. The second the lieutenant goes He's on a leave, whip. like this. <laughs> You'd think Lieutenant Hawkeye was. Colonel Mustang's nanny. Uh-huh, that's right. You know, I haven't had a day off since I got here, so I'm seriously considering taking some leave Dude, time I cannot so. figure Mustang out. Where are you going to go? I could use a nice relaxing fishing trip. Care to come along? He knows something that I don't, or he's got like more figured out than I think. Unless I'm overestimating Mustang, yeah, which I don't think I am. You listen to me, Edward Elric. He's gonna get all lovey. Your auto mail seems to be broken. Uh, okay. Yes, this is a serious situation indeed. We'll have to repair it. At Armstrong once. knows they need to get There's ready. No time to waste. Allow me to escort you to Rizenpool for repairs. Uh, Major, what's up? What's that? You're going back. He knows home things to are about to get a lot I more have serious. No idea what he's talking about, Al? One hundred percent. You, Alfonso, you would stand out too much, so you remain here in Central. Okay. Right. I need to make arrangements for transportation. Armstrong's right taking things into his own hands. Ed space. Cut it out, Major. The music. Put me down. I'm afraid I can't do that. These are my orders hmm? from him. From Mustang? Okay, I got it. Roger that. Major Armstrong and Edward Elric have gotten aboard the train, sir. He does okay. know. Finally, everyone's out of the way. Wait, what? I, uh... I was able to locate a witness that saw the man who orchestrated the breakout. I'm so confused. He 
This is a rough sketch of the guy. Are you still alive, then? Is there any direct connection to the Colonel? Who knows? My money says he's the one behind it, though. Where did he run off to? Well, he did leave pretty suddenly, and he's good at hiding. And yeah, I don't know how. No idea. You're useless. Don't blame this on me, you ugly hag. I'm short on manpower. But you've got plenty of manpower right here. <laughs> is it like it lesser? Like you're finally on. Barry the Chopper. Wait, but so that's a different Barry the Chopper? Like in a lower, like intelligent version? I'm confused. Oh my gosh, what an episode, dude. That's so sad that Maria Ross actually had to die for the cause. But like I said, I think, I think Mustang recognized that she had to. Either that or he's playing right into their hand, which would be horrible. But I have no idea, especially with the ending there. But I think Armstrong and Mustang kind of understand each other to the point where, like I said, they were having those social interactions where I think they want to portray a certain, a certain point of view like they they want to portray that they're thinking a certain way when in reality they actually know what's going on and that's why because he even said you never know who's listening that's what they said i think two episodes ago he said you never know who's listening so they have to play this part whenever they're having these interactions it's all a social game it's all a game about figuring out how people act how they act in front of certain other people that's pretty much it it's like power it's the power like the system man this is getting really intense i hope you guys are still enjoying the series let me know what you thought of the episode down below peace <laughs>